had a conversation with Phil Taylor from Effect Chart Guitar Effects. I was asking him questions about his PC2A compressor, which is this pedal here. It's a, a photo optical compressor that's based on a uh, Teletronics LA2A. There is an actual tube in it. I was asking him about his placement of the compressor. Uh, typically, a lot of people put the compressor pretty early on the chain before overdrives. Some people use it to push the overdrive into like a lead tone. Uh, he was telling me that sometimes he likes to place it uh, after his overdrive to simulate tube sag. Now, when you get an amp really loud, like say nine, and maybe actually you start noticing it a little bit before then, but the biggest way to notice tube sag is like on nine or, or 10. And you start hitting single notes or chords, you notice that the amp kind of just, it compresses when you hit the chords and the notes, right? It's really hard to get that out of an amp unless it's really cranked. And this has to be a tube amp, by the way, it won't work with a solid state amp. But and, um, I tried his trick and I placed this after an overdrive pedal. And sure enough, it does get that sound. And this is a really good trick because a lot of times on various stages and nowadays for modern recording, a lot of people can't really get the amps to that stage of, of tube sag. And this is even with a champ. A champ in an apartment, a 5 one amp is often too much for your neighbors. Uh, I placed this after a uh, Creation Audio Holy Fire pedal, which I'll show you in a second. And I just ran into a uh, Headstrong, uh, basically uh, his version of a, of a Princeton amp, and I had it on between two and three, which is not that loud at all. This is the Creation Audio Holy Fire pedal. I like this pedal. It runs at 18 volts. I find that there's a little bit more headroom in it. Uh, and you can see how they have the pedal set up. It's nice, it has a uh, high cut knob on it, which I, I roll back typically a little bit. And then uh, I just had the distortion and the gain, the overdrive. And the nice thing about this pedal is it, it gives you two options. There's overdrive and distortion on two different knobs. Uh, so I set this up to, to pretty much emulate an amp that maybe is on like um, five or six. It's a fairly uh, transparent overdrive pedal. Uh, to me, this pedal almost feels like uh, a Fender amp with um, uh, a solid state rectifier as opposed to a tube rectifier. But what's great about using the, uh, the PC2A is that's going to emulate a tube rectifier and it's going to get a little bit of that, that squishiness in it. <laughs> 